What's up, everyone? This is the Raw Truth coming back with part two. And like I was saying, this war that we are in, even folks are saying we have a gender war. Let me tell you, let, let me ask your dumbass something. We're just ordinary sheeple. Do you care about this gender war? You know what they mean by by saying that it's a gender war? They mean that it's black man versus black woman. Do you not care about the relationship between the black man and black woman? I sure enough do. I care about the relationship between a black man and black woman. You know what else I care about? I care about the relationships that should be put uh, getting together. The nice guys should be swa swapping these women up like crazy. These women, these black women should start accepting nice guys. I'm all about shaming the fuckery in my community. And I don't, like I said before, I don't give a fuck if you or anybody's offended. Let me tell you something. There was this woman by the name of Chastity. <clears throat> and I know you're going to get mad, but I don't give a fuck. She's a white woman who have raised a black boy. Reached out to me and said... Are you going to do a one-on-one -on -one with Tommy Sotomayor? Now that's funny because a guy, or I believe it's a guy, he, but a, he he go by the YouTuber named Crispy. Crispy was the first one to ask me about going one-on-one -on -one with Tommy Sotomayor. Now that's strange. I only got 133 what subscribers right now. 133 subscribers and Crispy was the first one to say hey Raw Truth you ever think about having going on and having one a one on one with Tommy Sotomayor that's interesting you know I'm looked at it you know cause you know, I'm not gonna lie you know uh, Tommy Sotomayor I wind up finding him through doing the research on YouTube to see if nice guys come in last just to find stories on black women choosing wrong guys. And it was, it had a picture of this black guy and he looked kind of cool to me. And that's when I seen Tommy Sotomayor. And he has several videos. <clears throat> Including a video, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, including a video of three no good men who managed to fuck 46 black women, black fucking whores, and produce 78 children. And I said to myself, shit, I, my eyes was fucking glued because I knew it ever since I was a fucking child. We're, we're just ordinary sheeple. You got to understand. This is a process even for me. This is a process of my fucking learning. I knew it. I knew that I was not the only one. When I seen videos after videos after videos after videos pop up like crazy. From Rick Scorpio. From Big B. Kel. Matter of fact. Shout out to Rick Scorpio. Shout out to Big B. Kel. Shout out to Mayor of Blacktown. Shout out to Obsidian uh, Media. Shout out to them. Because a lot of them have woke a whole lot of people up about this fuckery about black women choose, always choosing the wrong man. And before Obsidian ever hit the, hit, uh, hit the scene, I was listening to Terry Swoops. Shout out to you, Terry Swoops. I was listening to The Angry Man. Shout out to you, the angry man. I listen to Sergeant Willie P. Even though he's like the famous grandfather, you know what I'm saying? The famous grandfather who makes sense and then goes off the fucking deep end. But he a cool guy, even though we went back and forth one time. But all these men making videos about nice guys 
coming last. If nice guys are fucking coming in last, I care about them coming in first. Don't you? The only thing that you're getting from my video is that you're getting that my video is full of negative. Well, what's more negative? Me talking about the fuckery or black woman and these simps, these manginas, these no good men, thugs and all of them who ain't fucking good in our communities, these gangsters, these drug dealers who ain't shit, who are destroying the community. Why don't you say anything about them? But no, you want to fucking come at me. You want to come at me and, and, and throw a little sad face as if you're disappointed in me. Let me tell you something, bitch, and I want you to fucking understand. I don't need your fucking sympathy. I don't need you. I don't need your fucking, uh, uh, your fucking approval. I don't need shit from you. You know why I say I don't need shit from you? Because anybody who's not interested in building my community, I don't give a fuck about you. You people crack me up. Every time y'all want to attack. I don't hear. We're, we're, we're just ordinary sheeple. Uh, we're, listen, I want you to listen. Have you ever challenged Fox News? Huh? Huh? How about ABC? Did you ever fucking challenge them? Huh? Answer the fucking question. How about all those news medias and, and, and uh, social programs that's out there that depict my nation as fucking losers? Depicts black women as fat fucking mammies. Bad fucking attitude. Huh? Do you get mad at them? When was the last time y'all, any of y'all, have ever went to those people and complained? I know, but it's easier to complain to this black man, huh? Because this black man is not supposed to be angry about what the fuck is going on in his community, right? And then reading into your comment even more, I think you're mad because I'm using a whole lot of so-called cuss words. And I thought about it a few months ago. I thought about it. Who told me that these were even cuss words and that these were even bad words? Who? Where is the proof that saying fuck you or bitch, bitch ass nigga, whore? Who, who said that those are even bad words? Who said that they were cuss words? What, the white man? No, since I'm my own man. I denounce anything that that tells me something is bad without proof. You're going to have to show me fucking proof. Because if that was all bad like people were saying and kids, little kids was getting their fucking ass whooped and guess who was cussing, so-called cussing, that same parent. Don't don't you ever do that shit again. Junior, get the fuck upstairs. Uh, what? Tanisha, shut the fuck up before I fuck you up. So if it's bad to say, then that means we have terrible parents, huh? So now we can generalize this shit, huh? So yeah, I'm a subscriber to Tommy Sotomayor. Yes, I am. I am a subscriber to so Tommy Sotomayor. But you know what the you know what's funny? I'm gonna tell you what's funny. The funny part about it is I'm nothing like Tommy Sotomayor. See, Tommy Sotomayor, well, I can't say nothing like, because Tommy Sotomayor and I do have similarities. Tommy Sotomayor tells the raw truth. I am the raw truth who tells the raw truth. Tommy Sotomayor say things that may offend people and his heart may be in the right place. And he really cares, but he has to say things to offend people. Well, so do I. Because you know what's funny? <laughs> you know what's funny? I want you to I want your dumb ass to listen. The government has kept black women comfortable in their wickedness. My job is to make sure that they're not comfortable so they can be right. So they can be right. And once they're right, they could be comfortable in getting right. You haven't learned from the Garden of Eden, didn't you? 
You ain't learned from the Garden of Eden. Fucking Eve looked at the fruit of knowledge of good and evil and seen it was good. And hear that serpent talking, telling her if she eats it, she could be just like God. She could eat of it and become and become God. She could be just like God and not die. And what did she do? This bitch gave the same philosophy to Adam and Adam accepted. You know what I'm not doing? I'm not doing the same fucking thing as Adam. I'm not going to accept anything from black women. And I'm not going to accept anything from effeminate, uh, effeminate men. So called men. Black men. You know? I'm not going to accept it. I'm not going to accept the philosophy of something that is detrimental or harmful to my nation. I'm not going to accept it. Because when it all said and done, what happened? The serpent got judged. So the system got to be judged. The man blamed the woman. The woman blamed the serpent. But the serpent got judged. The woman got judged. Which means yes black woman. You will be judged. And so did the man got judged. Why did the woman get judged? Because she had knowledge and know. Not to fuck with any other philosophy. You know why Adam got judged? Because he actually listened to the black woman. See, a lot of times we black men get in trouble because we do listen to black women. Look at our communities. I can Adam and Eve my community. As a matter of fact, I should make a video about that if I don't cover too much. But I just may make a video about that. I can Adam and Eve my community and make you see the fuck ups that's happening. But now you just, you're just disappointed in me. And I don't give a fuck. If you're a subscriber, unsubscribe. I don't care. Peep, America's Uncle Sam because Sam is not my fucking uncle. I don't recognize him at all. But America's Uncle Sam said I'm looking for a few good men. Well, I'm looking for a few good viewers. <laughs> and if a few good viewers grow to more, I'll accept it. If not, I'll accept it. But I'm going to continue to get my contents out. I'm going to continue to get my videos out. I'm going to continue to scrutinize, criticize my community. Because what you don't understand, we're just ordinary sheeple. Shut the fuck up and listen. <laughs> In order to build a brand new house, you can never ever build a brand new house using the old foundation. What do they do with the foundation? Do they massage that foundation? No. Nah. Do they just run water and hope each and every single grain come off until the foundation is gone? No. They take dynamite, TNT, and they blow the fuck out of that foundation. And once that foundation is destroyed, then they put and build a new foundation. And when they built a new foundation, what the fuck happens? You can build a new house. You can build a new house. Why? Because it's built on a new foundation. And because it's built on a new foundation, it will last longer than a new house and a new foundation will last because if you build a new house on the old foundation, it will crumble. It won't be able to sustain the new material. It's like putting new wine in old bottles. When you put new wine in old bottles, it will crumble. Because it, it, it will explode. Why? Because the bottle actually grows when the new wine's in there. It gives it that little stretch room. You see what I'm saying? And that's what I'm all about. I'm all about destroying the foundation of my community. It seems like I'm going to have to make a part three. I'll be back. Stay tuned. I want to continue talking about this foundation because I need you to wake the fuck up and understand what the fuck I'm saying.